guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video because I saw a lot of comments requesting this video in my last video. So this is going to be a natural, everyday makeup tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Um, my last video was a high-end makeup starter kit and I put this eyeshadow palette in it as like the eyeshadow kit to get from like Sephora or wherever if you're just going out buying high-end makeup products and I said you could do this because it has great neutrals and great warm tones and I got a lot of questions and comments asking about it two in specific stood out to me Mahima said I have the modern renaissance palette and I haven't used it as much because I can't do any natural day looks with it and all the tutorials on YouTube are so extra for my everyday school life could you do an everyday eyeshadow tutorial using it and then Marley said, I like the Modern Renaissance palette, but I feel like for a beginner, those reds would be so intimidating. So I totally get that because, you know, like you type this palette in and like the everyday person isn't going to wear like reds on their eye every day. You know what I mean? Like they want to wear like neutrals and stuff like that. So um, this is the neutral look that I created for you guys. You could totally like do your own spin off of it. In this tutorial, I'll also talk about like you could do this instead of this or whatever. Um, but I chose this palette because you could do the looks that everyone on YouTube does or you could do your neutral look. And I don't really think that there are a lot of neutral looks on YouTube for this palette. So I'm here today to show you guys the natural everyday look that you guys can do with this palette because it's a great palette, super universal, super pretty, and it's just a really great palette overall. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload videos all the time. Um, ask anyone that's subscribed, ask anyone that's in the family. They will absolutely tell you that I'm literally uploading like every other day pretty much while well, I do upload every other day. Sometimes I upload every day. It depends on the day. It depends on feeling, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I would love it if you guys would subscribe and join the family. We are so close to 300,000 subscribers, which is so crazy. Like 300,000 people is insane. But besides the point, let's get on to this everyday natural makeup tutorial. Obviously, you're gonna wanna take your Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm taking a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 224. Any brush that is fluffy is gonna work for this. You do not have to use this brush. Whatever you have will work. And I'm gonna take this shade right here called Burnt Orange. With this, I'm just going to distribute this in my crease and I'm using windshield wiper motions, meaning it goes like back and forth like windshield wipers. And then I'm also doing circular motions, like small little circles. And I'm also just kind of hacking it in my crease. I'm using a combination of all three of those uh, ways of applying shadow just so that it looks nice and blended out. And these shadows are so pigmented, you really don't need a lot on your brush. I really just dipped it in there and you guys can see that I have a really nice color payoff. And then you're going to want to take that same color on your brush again and throw this along your lower lash line. This is going to make your eye look nice and big and it opens up your eye but it also kind of connects your upper lid to your lower lid. And then you want to take some sort of packing brush. You could use your finger if you wanted, but I prefer a brush that looks like this. This is a, oops, a little dirty. This is a MAC 217. I'm going to take this shade right here, Raw Sienna. Now with this shade, you're going to put this all over your lid and just buff it up into your crease. And then bring it up here to connect. And then I'm also going to take that color and throw that on my lower lash line. And then I take the fluffy brush that we used first and I blend all this out. Now you could just leave it like this and throw on mascara and call it a day. Um, this is like a really pretty kind of look that you see all over like Instagram and stuff. It's just the effortless natural kind of look. But I like to add a little bit of lightness to my eyes. So I'm going to go in with a rose water spray. You can use Fix Plus water, setting spray, whatever you have. I'm just going to spray my finger. And then I'm gonna take this shade, it's called Primavera, something like that, I don't know. It's golden, it's really, really pretty. Dip it in, you can use a brush. Um, I just think your finger works perfectly fine. And then you just wanna pack this color on the center of your lid. You guys can just tell it brings light to your eye and when your eyes open it just makes your eye look bigger more full 
and it just brings light to your face. It's a really pretty technique and it's sort of like a cheat way to do a halo eye. You know how that's like kind of big right now. Um, yeah, this is just a really easy way to do it. And then I'm going to mix these two shades, Primavera and Vermeer. I'm just taking this on a small synthetic flat brush and then I'm just going to pack this on my inner corner. Normally whenever I do my inner corner highlight, I just kind of keep it right where my inner corner really is. But with a look like this, I like to bring it all the way into my nose because that shrinks your nose in and it just brings so much more light to your eyes. Then I go with a bigger flat shader brush. You'd use the same one if you want. Um, and then I take the shade Tempura. This is just a matte shade. You could definitely put highlight underneath your brows if you wanted to. I just decided to keep it matte. Okay, so I'm gonna put my mascara on my upper and lower lashes, but I'm making sure to curl my lashes a lot, especially if I'm not putting on falsies as much as it breaks my heart. I need my lashes to be curled. And this is my good eye with lashes, so I'm very anxious to see how this eye looks. Um, I'm using the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I really like this. I think the formula is really nice nice and creamy. For my mascara, I'm really focusing on the base of my lashes, so I'm putting the wand here. I'm kind of closing my eye, and as I close my eye, I twirl the wand like that. You know what I mean? And that is the eye. It's really simple, but everyday natural. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys all did enjoy it. If you guys want to see more looks on this palette, I have one right here. This is like a neutral glam. And then I also have a more red cranberry toned look. So you guys can get like glam on both ends of the spectrum of this palette and then also this neutral look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.